Welcome back to the homeowner series in GTA 5. Today we will be doing a few exciting things. It's just over 90 degrees here at the house in Malibu. And so far it's been a great week weather wise. Let's head on over to the garage. Today we will be starting the Baja build for the Chevrolet Colorado ZR2. And we will be looking at an old truck to possibly buy. Before we get going on those, I do want to give a few updates around the garage. I do have the dirt bike and the k and Maverick in for service. Just wanted to get an oil change make sure everything was good to go before we do any trail riding. Now since buying the new Ferrari, I have taken it to the office quite a few days and so far it is one pretty cool vehicle. Just maybe in the future, we will have to pick up another Ferrari. Let's head on over to the other doors here and take a quick look. Now I do have two offers on both the Porsches, the GT4 and the uh, 997 GT3. So more than likely these are selling, but let me know if we should keep them. And you guys can see both of these are here. This actually just hit 3,000 miles uh, this past week, which is nice. And I really, really do like this. Probably one of my favorite Porsches. But why don't we hop here in the Colorado ZR2. So this is what it looks like stock. We'll be putting upgraded from bumper and the roof light on and then next week we'll be putting the uh, bed one on they do have to do a few measurements today which uh, should be no problem so let's hop here on the inside of the ZR2 and head on out now so far a lot of you guys have really been enjoying the homeowner series here which is pretty exciting. I will be trying to do it every single week here for all of you and I definitely want to do a lot more GTA 5 videos this uh, style here and uh, these uh, videos are rated for all ages. Let's head on out here. It's actually the dealership that we've been buying a few of our exotic uh, sport cars from uh, that is uh, working on it. Now since we do have an incredible collection of cars, I really decided why don't we just start a collection of trucks and we do have the first gen Raptor, we have this ZR2, we have a GMC Denali, but I kind of want a few more off-road uh, trucks and this one it will be perfect for off-roading. It's going to be a little bit smaller, so there will be some cases where we'll be taking this off-roading instead of the Raptor. And I do also want to kind of start to collect some older farm uh, trucks, if you would so call it. So that will be pretty exciting uh, to take a look at one here today. So let's just kind of leave it right out front here. And I think they'll come get it. And look at that. After a few hours here, they have it fully installed. Look at those big lights up there. That is pretty cool. And we do have lights up here. Look at that front bumper as well. That big, big skid plate. Wow. Uh, this truck will be perfect here. Now, they did do the measurements and actually take off that little thing uh, to get it ready here for us. And they did take the tailgate off. So, this truck is ready to go for that uh, bed insert, which will have a spare tire and kind of a small roll cage. But let's hop here on the inside and let's head on back to the house. Now this uh, build has already kind of uh, cost us quite a lot of money. This truck here is probably around uh, $50,000 and both these lights here on the truck were I think just around $3,000 a total. Now if you guys are new here to the channel I do ask that you please subscribe and if you haven't I do recommend you give it a like. It really helps out the YouTube algorithms and lets me know that you do enjoy these homeowner series videos. Now this is one sweet truck here. It's going to get better and better as the weeks continue. I just don't want to do the entire build in one week. I wanted to space it out as well. And looks like traffic is a bit busy here today, but it's pretty warm out. So I think to end today, we will go out on the jet ski and we'll have some fun on the Yamaha. And I think we'll probably stop by the yacht just to check on it as well. And uh, maybe go for a drive down to one of the marinas for dinner. And let's kind of get this park side by side and compare them. We have the first gen fully spec'd out and it will more than likely be a very similar build. We are actually getting a similar rack system but from a different uh, manufacturer. So that will be pretty cool. But look at that guys. We've got the uh, two off-road trucks. A little bit different. Oh wow. Uh, those are very similar there. Awesome, so why don't we go take a look here at the old truck. It's a 1978 uh, Ford F-250 uh, crew cab long bed. Let's hop here in the GMC Denali, and let's also get the uh, trailer. We do have the trailer around the uh, back side of the house. 
Now we'll just take the open trailer here today. The enclosed one is actually getting a complete wrap job and a complete kind of detail done as well just to kind of get it cleaned up. And we won't be storing that here at this house, just a little bit too big uh, to maneuver since it's 30 plus feet long. Now the truck is going to be a little long, hopefully it fits on the uh, back of this trailer. Since moving into house 3-4 weeks ago, I think that was probably one of the best decisions we made here with this series. This house is just awesome, really do like the garage, and I'm uh, that's where I mainly spend my time. And I believe the street should be coming up here. It's going to be a little tricky, actually. It's the next street here, and that car thinks they're almost turning. Wow, we do have to be pretty careful here. Looks like traffic is a bit slow. Look at that, guys. Pretty cool old uh, van there. Now, I do want to get a few mods to replace all the vehicles here in the game. I think that would be a pretty cool thing to do, but traffic is really, uh, really uh, getting backed up here. So let's see if the person in front of us will go. And it looks like there we go, so I will just go right after them, and that is always a little tricky. But here we are, guys, actually showing up. Look at that. Wow. Uh, that is already a good looking from the distance. So we'll just pull off here to the side. Hopefully no one has to leave uh, since we are blocking them. But this, guys, is a 1978. They're actually at work today, and they pulled it out of the garage. This thing looks sweet. Wow, look at this. Definitely uh, needs new headlights, uh, restore a few rust spots, things like that. But wow, this thing is in pretty good condition whoa we are definitely buying this here today so let's hop on the inside and I uh, definitely will just drop the check off they said take it and just come back when they're uh, home from work and give them the check which is awesome very kind of them and let's get it loaded up now this kind of looks to be a short bed here which is pretty uh, unusual I would have expected it uh, to be a long bed here but let's get it loaded up here whoa look at that uh, I'm very surprised that we could get it loaded up and it fits right on the trailer perfect I was kind of thinking that the truck was going to be so long it wouldn't fit, but there we go, guys. Let's get it strapped down there and strapped so perfect. There we go. Let's bring it back to the house. Now, I really do want to kind of find maybe an old uh, trailblazer, uh, some older uh, trucks as well, which I think would be a pretty cool add-on. Now our job here with the series is a real estate investor, someone that buys properties, fixes them up, and sells them. So that's what we do, and I think uh, we are closing on a few properties within the next week here, which is pretty cool. But I think the move out to Malibu was also great. It's a little bit quieter than being right in uh, Pinewood Hills. And we do have an incredible view here of the ocean. Looks like traffic is backed up there. And wow, we are right back here at the house. That was pretty cool that it was close by. Awesome. So let's get, I think we'll get this unloaded, take a full walk around. I do want to open up the hood and see the engine inside since it does have a full interior. We'll just kind of do a full look over here on it as well. Just make sure everything's good to go. And actually, I think they'll stop by the house. I just sent them the text. Yep, they'll come by and pick up the uh, payment, which is very kind uh, to let us have it a little early. Let's get this unloaded here and I do want to look at the engine. And I got all the doors opened up here. Look at that, guys. Looks to be a little bit of vacuuming, a little bit of stain removal. And this interior looks to be good. And it looks like only 32,000 original miles. And look at that, guys. This old uh, truck. Look at that engine. So it still has the original motor, which is good. It uh, looks like just a fairly new battery. And it is the F-250 Ranger XLT, which is awesome. Wow, this thing looks sweet. And look at that, so it looks like uh, the bed has been repaired just a little bit in a complete repaint. But why don't we now uh, head down to the dock and have some fun on the jet ski, and it will end today. Now the homeowner series here in GTA 5 is meant to be quite a bit of fun and uh, realistic, but also just have fun here with a very unique set of mods. And the jet ski's over here, looks like it's in the water, ready to go here for us.
We have it untied here from a dock, and let's now have some fun. Look at this, guys. Really do like the jet ski. Let's see if we get some big waves. It's a lot of fun to just be able to hop on the jet ski every night and have a little bit of fun. And this Yamaha is always that uh, fun here. Really uh, just enjoy this Yamaha. A little bit more power than the in-game one as well. And from a distance, you guys can see that is one massive, massive house we have, which is pretty neat as well. And look at those waves, and our boat's getting pretty close here to us, but I think uh, that will include uh, today's video. Been a pretty fun day here for us. The ZR2 build's coming along really well. We picked up that old Ford, and we had a little bit of fun here. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for next one, and subscribe for more.